Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the bedroom furniture set for 18-inch dolls. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. For this video, I will be using a drill to make the assembly go a little bit faster. Feel free to use a drill as well, but if you do, please have the torque setting set on low so you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So let's get started. For step one, you need part A1, which is the headboard. You need two of part A3, which are the rails. You need part A4, which is the bottom. Two of the A8 pegs and two of the S screws. So first what we're gonna be doing is attaching the rails to the headboard. When looking at the rails, you're gonna see one side that has a groove. Now you're gonna want the grooves facing towards each other going to the inside of the bed. There's also going to be two holes on each side. Now what those holes are going to do is they're going to align to the two holes on the headboard. Only one of the holes actually goes through. This is where the screw is going to be going through the back side, in through the front, and into the rail. Now you're going to want this top hole to be the peg, the bottom hole to be the screw. Now the screw is going to align with this insert that you're going to want to have towards the bottom. So this top hole here is where we're going to be putting that wooden peg and then the bottom hole is where the screw is going to go. So we're going to have the rail facing to the inside with the peg on the top and the screw going through the back. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side here. Again, the screw going towards the inside, this insert to the bottom. So we're going to be putting the peg on the top here it's going to be going into the top hole over here and the screw going through the back and we're going to get these both screwed into place And then lastly, what we're going to be doing is we're going to tip this up and we're going to be putting the bottom board down these grooves into each side. So you're going to want the white facing upward. You're going to get it in the groove and slide all the way down. For step two, you need part A2, which is the footboard two of part A8, which are the wooden pegs, and two of the S screws. So next we're going to be attaching the footboard. So the same thing, the top two holes here is where we're going to be putting that wooden peg. And then we're going to align it to the two holes on this side of the footboard. So you're going to align it like this and put the screw through the only spot that you can. To make it a little bit easier, I'm going to tip this back up here. I'm going to align these two holes, making sure that I get that wooden peg into the top hole on each side. And then I'm going to screw the two sides going downward. Step three is just adding the accessories to the bed. So what we're gonna have is the fabric pad that's gonna go on the bottom, the fabric blanket, and last but not least, the fabric pillow. For step four, you need two of the B1 sides, two of the B2 shelves, and eight of the S screws. For this step, what we're gonna first be doing is looking at the side. Now the side you'll see, one side has larger holes and the other side has smaller holes. The larger holes is where we're gonna be putting the screws into, which is gonna go into each of these shelves. So we're going to, first, I'll start with the bottom one. You're gonna see these two holes on the smaller end here. It's gonna to align to those two holes and we're gonna screw through the other side. We're gonna then repeat with the top shelf 
And lastly, put on the opposite side. Again, making sure that those screws are going through the larger side of the hole. So let's get all eight of these screws put into place. And then step five is just adding the lamp accessory to the side table. For step six, you need part C3, which is the right side, two of part C7, which is the top and the bottom, part C9, which is the back, and four of the S screws. For this step, what we're going to be doing is putting the top and the bottom onto the right side. When you look at the right side, you're going to see along the length of it this groove. Now this groove needs to align to the top and the bottom pieces. So when you're looking at the top and the bottom, you'll see the same groove mimicked along the length of it. You need to have these aligned when you're screwing the pieces together so that the back can slide into these easily. Now what we're going to do is we're going to locate these four screw holes on each of the sides here. We're going to go through the back, which is the larger of the holes, through here and into the top and the bottom which is going to go along the edge here. So it's going to be sitting just like this where we're going to put in those four screws, two on each side. But just again, make sure that when you're actually screwing these into places that you're watching that groove to make sure that it stays aligned. Now if you need to, you may have to loosen the screws to readjust the top and the bottom so that that groove stays aligned. What we're going to do is we're going to tip this up on its side. We're going to take the back and just like we did the bed, you're going to put this back into the grooves all the way down. Now the important part though, however, is that it needs to go into the groove on the right side. So you got to make sure that it's going all the way down. For step seven, you need part C2, which is the middle, and part C8, which is the fixed shelf. So for this step, what we need to do first is put the fixed shelf into place. Now when you look at the fixed shelf, you're going to have this slot. You're going to want this facing outwards, away from the back. Then you're going to be putting into this first groove here, going all the way back. Now this middle shelf has these grooves on one side. You're going to want all these grooves facing downward so that they align with the grooves on the right side. We're going to align it with the, this slot that's already into place. And while we're placing it, you're going to want it into the grooves on the top and the bottom boards while making sure that this slot aligns with the fixed shelf. And it's going to go all the way back so that this front is flush. For step eight, you need part C1, which is the left side, C4, which is the dowel, and four of the S screws. First for this step, what we're going to be doing is placing the wooden dowel into this larger hole on this middle piece. Now it's just going to free float there for now while we place this left side. Now when looking at the left side, you're going to see this long groove that's going along the length. This needs to align with this backboard, so it's going to go on to this back piece and then this fixed shelf is going to go into the one groove here. So we're going to put this down, making sure that the wooden dowel, the fixed shelf, and the back all gets into the grooves that they need to. Once you have it all the way down, you're going to see these four screw holes where these last four screws are going to go into. So let's get these screwed into place. For step nine, you need two of C6, which are your adjustable shelves. You need two of C10, which are your basket bodies, two of part C11, which are your basket bottoms, and three of part C5, which are the hangers. So first for this step, what we're going to do is assemble the baskets. When you take the basket body, you're going to unfold it, where you're going to place the basket bottom into the basket and press it down firmly but gently just so it holds the basket shape. 
Repeat the same thing with the other basket. And then next what we're going to be doing is placing the shelves. Now the shelves can go into any of these groove spots. So you can move them around as you please. You can place them where you want. We'll put in our baskets here. And then last but not least, we can place the hangers right on the dowel. For step 10, you need part D2, which is the upper leg, and D3, which is the lower leg. So for this step, what we're going to be doing is combining the upper and the lower leg. When looking at the upper leg, you're going to see the curve with the notch going downward. This is going to go on top of the lower leg, and it's going to situate right in that notch, and you're going to push it all the way down until it is flush on top. For step 11, you need part D1, which is the post, and four of D4, which are the pegs. For this step, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the pegs right into the post. Each peg is going to go into a hole on each side of this wooden post. Step 13 is where we're going to be combining the post to the base. Now when looking at the post, you're going to see a screw hole on the very bottom. This is going to go right to the base where that screw hole is right on top. We're going to align the post on top of the base and we're going to be using the S screw going right through the bottom, through the base, and up into the post. And we'll get that screwed into place. And that concludes the assembly for the bedroom furniture set for 18 inch dolls. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.